Hi to everybody. I am Anand Perra from Sapphire Kingdom Gemology. This is our lesson number 13. We are discussing here Sapphire treatment methods. There are several methods we have to discuss. First one, heat treatment, beryllium treatment, surface diffusion, lead glass filling, treatment with oil or polymer. These are mainly we are discussing here. Then, <clears throat> in some cases, uh, some treatments are illegal, some are legal. So you should know very well about this. Please uh, uh, still not yet subscribe. Please subscribe and press the bell icon to receive my notifications. Right, we are moving to next. Heat treatment. What is heat treatment? This is normal for ruby and sapphire. Here the inclusions melt in the stone and reabsorb them. They disappear and increase the color and appearance of the stone and increase the clarity in this heat treatment. Heat treatment is allowed one. It is a legal treatment. It is heated in the temperature range of 800 to 1800 Celsius and cooled immediately or slowly cooled, 1 to 14 days. Immediately cooled or 1 to 14 day cooled. It also combines with oxygen, that is oxidizing. This should be studied separately. Some rounds are heat treated with the addition of materials such as borax. These stones can be identified by the stones ultraviolet response and microscopic appearance. Heat treatment can enhance the color of the stone. Heat treatment can enhance the color of the stone. If it is gouda, blue gouda or red gouda, if it is blue gouda, the temperature should be between 1700 and 1800 Celsius. If the red gouda is there, after oxy oxidizing. Red is after oxidizing. Coangu yellow sapphires we discussed earlier. After treating, it becomes yellow with oxidizing. Oxidizing means mixed with oxy oxygen. Many stones are destroyed due to cracks and air bubbles. Especially H2O air bubbles are destroy the stone. Gouda and Kovangu yellows belong to the most essential category of heat treatment. The group taken to increase the color can include weak yellow, purple and weak blue stones. Other sapphires and rubies do not require heat treatment. Now we are discussing the beryllium treatment. This is illegal treatment. Beryllium is illegal treatment. By applying beryllium compound to a cut and polished stone, melting it and cooling it immediately, molecular diffusion of the beryllium ions to a distance of 2 to 3 mm from the surface of the stone increases the color of the stone. Remember, it is only 2 to 3 mm gap from the skin. Repolishing the stone again <coughs> results in a beautiful stone. Here are here all are beryllium treated sapphires. It is illegal. Another thing is surface diffusing. What is surface diffusing? This is similar to beryllium therapy. It also illegal. By heating the titanium applied sapphire until it melts and cooling it immediately, the color will increase by diffusion along the surface of the stone. Unlike beryllium, the penetration depth is less. If repolished, the color will be removed. Surface diffusing stones are, we can see a lot of surface diffusing stones in Bangkok. Then the next thing is glass filling. 
another name for that is fissure film here this is glass filling ruby inside of the enclosures the clarity of the stone can be increased by filling the places of broken and damaged sapphire stones with cobalt mixed glass then the cracks will disappear the cracks are not visible for this cobalt glass is used for blue sapphires and lead glass is used for ruby the durability is less glass filling is uh, not illegal thing but glass filling is legal but when we sell the stone we have to declare it is glass filling then it is not illegal next one is here treatment with oil and polymer oil and polymer treatment we use this for emeralds naturally emeralds are uh, with a lot of inclusions natural inclusions and cracks so we have to cover the cracks so to cover the cracks we use oil or polymer so oiling natural emeralds with cracks minimizes the appearance of cracks emerald is a stone that has cracks naturally nowadays polymer based materials are used instead of oil this is emerald you can see the inclusions inside cracks and lot of feathers inside all are covered with oil or polymer it is legal thing but we have to declare it is the the treatment it is legal this one is this is jade this method oil and polymer is also used to enhance the translucent appearance and color of jade jade is very expensive too in the conservative method washing with plum juice and polishing with wax is not considered a treatment in this jade washing with plum juice and after wax polishing is not uh, considered as a treatment in jade this is jade bangle these are the treatment identification tables code is given here and the term expiration we'll see n for natural h for heat n for natural expiration is no evidence of any treatment identified then it is called natural if it is heat or h letter h standard heat treatment only no addition oils or filters this is a stable state treatment color is stable hsa heat and stable additive expression is heat treatment with standard additive example borax flux this is a stable treatment hua h for heat and unstable additive heat treatment with unstable additive example lead glass cobalt glass this treatment is not stable and the gemstone is subject to change later hb be means capital b simple e means beryllium h for heat heat and beryllium heat treatment with beryllium enhancement this is a stable treatment but it is illegal Oh, oil, <coughs> gemstone clarified with colorless oil. P, polymer, treatment with polymer additive. T, F, diffusion, surface diffusion to enhance color. D, dyed, treated with dye in order to enhance color. Can be stable or unstable depending on the gemstone. These are the treatments identification table. So in some cases, the certificates they issue with these letters then you should know what are the letters letter means join us and learn enrich your future with us we will meet on next part lesson number 14 if you are not yet uh, subscribed please subscribe and press the bell icon to receive the notifications every week learn well good luck